Hey up troops and welcome back to the Latana army. I'm Latana and we're back with Divinity Original Sin 2. Now, what I said we'd do last time, we actually came to go into this little dungeon last time, but we ended up getting into a fight with this guy named Migo. But what we did end up with, which was pretty cool, was this armor that we've got for the Red Prince. So now we will actually go into the dungeon as we first said. So we need to dig. Now we haven't got a spade, but if you've got a reptile, then they can actually dig on their own using the hands. There you go, look. So he can dig himself. And then we can get through the door. So let's have a look what's down here. Oh, okay. So we haven't got much in, where, in terms of map. So I really don't know where we're supposed to go yet. So let's just... Uh, just go where we think, I guess. Just follow our noses. I don't know how dangerous this place is, or if it is actually a way out of, uh, of Fort Joy. There's a chest there, look, I can see. So we've got a tattered note and a chest. Um, Alright, let's have a look what the note says. So, read. I have made it this far. Now there's only a little length of ground to cover. I hear them talking, these strange creatures. One is royal, I believe. The others, her disciples. But from what I can tell, they've been locked down here for a long time. My strategy is stealth. I'll sneak past them during one of the royal's more impassioned speeches. Then, they'll likely not notice me. Home, to Carvo, to Ruskit, my farm again. So this looks like a way out then, potentially. Is what I'm thinking. Oh, wow. Trap disarming kit. Ooh, health potions. Yeah, we'll take those. Yep, yeah, understood. Uh, a water balloon. Oh, that's good for putting out fire. Good, we could use that. All right. Good. I'm going to start leading with the Red Prince, I think, now, because, uh... Ooh. What is this? Pick that up? Nope. A cooking pot. Cooking pot could be good. Let's get Sibyl to get this, uh... Oh, will she just literally rest? Alright, okay. <laughs> this is no time for sleeping. Alright, there's some yellow being of some sort around... Oh, look. It's a bug. Not the good kind. So, can I blast the bug from... We start the fight early. A glow with flames and glistening slime. The oh. strange beast looks at you almost expectantly. Okay, so peer at the creature slowly and ask if it can understand you. Scowl at the vicious flaming monstrosity and prepare to do battle. Oh, I'll see if it can understand us first. A series of gurgles. It seems to be gesturing towards deeper in the cavern. Okay, ask if it wants you to go the somewhere that's pointing. Incoherently, shaking its bulk towards the bowels of the cavern. Okay, well back away and take our leave. Ifen can talk to creatures. So go and talk to him. You there. You're trespassing in the princess's royal court. Ah. So play along and declare that you're the new royal jeweler, of course. He's not very good at that. Ask who this princess You've is. You've never heard of Her Royal Highness, Princess Xenthia of the Firelands? No. Be forgotten. Truly the cruelest part of that dog, Rackus Rex's punishment. Every creature in the world should know and love the princess. Okay. You would be wise to leave here. My princess is already in a foul mood. To have an uninvited guest show such ignorance would only inflame her further. Okay, so ask, uh, let's just say that you need to find a way of escaping the island. You have to press ahead. Well, that's actually true, so let's go for that. Few who displease her royal highness live to make amends. Okay, ask if it's unusual for creatures like itself to have royalty. The creature quivers with indignation. We were not always like this. We were once a proud, upright people like yourself. Our princess was betrothed to marry Bracchus Rex, the Source King. Oh. So let's question what this foul mood's all about. She's fed Maybe up we can help. trapped in this cavern, of course. She wants the curse of Bracchus to be removed so that she can find a prince who's worthy of her hand in marriage. Oh. Until she is free of the tyranny of Bracchus, her mood will only darken, I fear. Her own courtiers can do little to cheer her. And outsiders? Well, outsiders rarely survive her wrath. Okay, note that Bracchus was vanquished long ago. He won't be lifting any curses in the near future. Truly? The tyrant has fallen? 
By then my princess is free to do as she pleases. Be sure to tell her. It'll brighten her mood to no end. Okay. Do you hear that? Something's up ahead. Oh my god. Jesus! He's, he's, he's setting us on fire with his flame trail. <laughs> Alright, let's just go around. I want to see what's on this charred corpse. Ooh, money. Yep, that was already worth it. My god. Alright, so... There's a lot to loot down here. We're getting rich in this cave. We need to find this princess. And I hope she doesn't attack. Oh my gosh. Right, okay, can we... Uh, can we look around? Is there like a throne or something? Right, so there's some... Wow. Okay. Um... <laughs> I have no idea. This cave is huge. Alright, well, we're not going that way by the look of it. Um, Alright, well, we've got to get around the fire. You there, boy. Ah! Did Brackus send you? Is he ready to apologize? Okay, tell her she's got you confused with someone else. Decide to bluff your way through this and see you bring dire news. Hesitate before saying you're unsure what she means. Scowl and say you won't be spoken to like that by some gruesome creature. Ah, here we go. Say that you heard her plight, but never fear. Bracus Rex has been long vanquished. He's gone? Yes. You're absolutely, positively sure? Yes. That means... That means I'm free. I can take suitors. Find myself a real prince. Not like that scoundrel Bracus. I've lost too much time on that waste of brackers as it is. Take this proclamation and see that all hear of it. Princess Xenthia of the Firelands is free once more. Okay, you might want to Go transform now. first, though. I expect the most eligible kings and suitors to be petitioning for my hand in marriage as soon as possible. Okay, before we leave, ask the Royal Highness to repeat her tale of woe. The people should know their princess's plight. Hmm. I suppose the small folk of Rivalon ought to know my tale. All was well after my engagement to Bracus for a time, but then, then he started to pay less attention to me. He okay. had mind only to play around with his blasted source follies. I gave him a good tongue lashing about it in front of the whole court. But, well, it didn't have the desired result. Ah. He transmogrified me and all my servants into the beasts you see before you. I will not yield, though. I remain royalty right to my very core. Okay. We're kind of stuck in a way now because, like, we've got to walk through fire to get everywhere else. Now, we've come this way. Should we just press on? Alright, I don't know if we can survive all this fire, but I'm going to try anyway. If we die, we die. Oh, they walk around the fire. Well, that's useful. I want to see what this blue stuff is, because it looks amazing. It's like Avatar. Oh, this really is the whole cave. Um, okay. Um, well, there's nothing more to explore. So, did we just go back? Is that it? Anything we've missed? I bet there is. <laughs> I can imagine people shouting at the screen right now, like, You've missed the sword! You've missed the chest! But okay, let's make our way back. Well, the cave looks cool. Alright, well, we've been everywhere else and we've checked all the charred remains out. Which I guess is cool. Oh. Yeah, I know, we've spoke to you. We've spoke to you. Alright, we've been up here and got everything from here. So, where to next? I guess we go back up. Okay, we'll go back up and then let's check the map to see what we can do next. Wow, alright. So this is really opening up now. So that's the entrance to the underground. Cavern entrance, that's where the elves are. Stingtail's down there. Now, do we need to do anything with Stingtail? Because we've kind of seen him already. Griff's up there, that's a person. Uh, Magister Borist, Zelskia, Hideout, and a Mysterious Cave. God, there's lots going off here at the minute. Alright, so how do we get round to the Mysterious Cave? 
We can't go through the fort. So do we have to go back to the north beach and kind of make our way around? Maybe we do. Okay, let's do that. Let's explore a little bit. So let's get our minimap the right way around. That would be a start. I don't think there'll be much on these shipwreck crates, but we're going to have a look anyway. Oh, broken bottle, empty mug. Yeah, do you know what? I think I'm past picking up everything. Dr. Lest. Oh, we spoke to that. We spoke to Dr. Lest already. Oh, have we? Was that the one who told us about the children? Let's have a look. Finally kicked the book at this and didn't think I'd miss his grumbling and boasting, but spirit like that leaves a big hole when it's snuffed out. Rest his soul. Oh, okay. Oh, I want them pigskin gloves, though. Hmm. Nope, we'll not steal. She seems nice. So, I and then you go and talk to the... Oh, that's Buddy. We know Buddy. We already know Buddy. He's missing his owner, isn't he? Um, alright, well, we're, we want to go, like, way north at the minute. So, let's go right up to the gates. We can just scour around Fort Joy a second. She's given us no help getting the collars off whatsoever. While they're doing that, let's have a look at what we've got. Um, oh, I, can, I need to speak to the actual people themselves. After we killed um, Dallas, you maniac. the guy on the beach... Exclamation marks came up above the head. So when they get up to the gate, let's have a conversation with our actual guys. And see what they say. So I'll put Cross as the main guy. So let's speak with the Red Prince first. A horrible surrounding for an agreeable conversation, but go ahead. Uh, ask him if he was going to be okay with Sabeel now that she murdered ah. Stingtail. I should whip her till she's as red-skinned as I am, then leave her for the birds to peck clean. But there are broad waters between should and shall at the present. And I'm nothing if not a patient prince. It's forgiving Good. that I've more trouble with. Still, you bewilder me just as much, don't you know? It was you who invited little Miss Needlework into the fold. Do you mean to tell me you're comfortable with what she's done? I'm going to say that I understand her, which is different from being comfortable with it. You understand her, do you? Yes. You understand that she murders a man because he did like he was bid to by a master, by a higher force than he. Don't let all that understanding of yours trump <laughs> your comfort. She's right. dangerous. You've seen it. Yes, I know. Well, let's ask him what he wants I to do next. I to rule an empire one day, not a tiny wow. outcropping in the sea, lording over gulls and guppy fish. To that guppy end, I fish. suggest you focus on the obvious. A farewell to Fort Joy and a hello to the mainland. Good point. Right, Ifen, what's your what's your call? Progress already now. Um, say we're curious about anyone to ask him a question. Shoot you a wary glance, looking for all the world like a wild animal caught in the lantern light of a racing carriage. Well, why not? Go ahead. Okay, so I in his hand resting casually in his weapon. Ask how many contracts he's fulfilled. Tell him you've noticed he moves with the bearing of a soldier. Did he serve? That yeah, I let's did. ask. In Lucian's own army. Ah, Marvel. Oh, no, nah, I don't think he'll respect that. Look around and say he must feel very proud of how the Divine Order turned out. No, nah, that's a bit patronising. Wonder how he can aim to kill the son of the Divine he served. A contract is a contract. Lone Wolves don't ask questions, we just do the work. Besides, not like Alexander is a delicate little innocent now, is it? You've seen his work. He presses his lips tightly together and looks away. There's a coldness in his eyes you haven't seen until now. There's a reason I don't wear order garb anymore. But let's talk about those old days another time. No, let's talk about him now. So press him. You want to talk Drop about those it. days now? Oh, all right. I didn't like that. Okay. Dropped. Consider it dropped. The sun shines bright upon this island, but its hidden heart is dark. Okay, do you know what? We're not getting anywhere with those conversations. So let's carry on exploring, because they're not really getting us anywhere. So we need to find a way around to get down to this part of the island. So I'm guessing the only bits that we haven't, so we need to kind of go up here and, and stay east. So let's go through the door and just keep to the east a little bit. And there's people up here we haven't seen either. What is that? Is that a rat? Oh, it is. Okay, I'm not going to bother with him. Although, I do know Divinity Original Sin 2 has a tendency to uh, 
make the unnoticeable and things like that a big part of the quest lines. Right, it looks like there's a way through here. I've spotted something. World secrets. Keep an eye out for secret passages. Rivalon is full of hidden levers, pressure plates, and mysterious hatches. Try walking through it. We're going to, after we've looked in this crate, which is empty. Oh, look. We didn't see this before, so this is like this a hidden alcove. Oh, and there's someone there. So we found a hidden alcove. You walk up Who's... to a skeleton <gasps> oh, it's a... you have ever seen before. His skull seems to be carved into intricate patterns with a gemstone sitting in the middle of his forehead. Whoa. Approaching, you hear a profane rumble from the undead beast. Bugger. <laughs> okay, I thought that was going to be something a bit more profound. How on earth am I supposed to... Oh. Perhaps... Perhaps. Skeletal fingers reach down and grip the skin of the dead man's face, pulling sharply upwards. After a few more tugs at the man's cheeks, the skeleton relents, letting the head drop to the ground with a damp thud. Damnation. That stuck fast. I wonder, does the beard act as some form of anchor? We'll just curiously ask what he's doing. Ah! No! Stay back! Don't... Don't what? Actually... You don't seem half as threatening as those creatures in red. Run along, won't you? I have business to attend to. So what's the business with Why that body? Its face, of course. What other use would I have for some rotting corpse? A face that seems rather stubbornly attached to his skull. <laughs> I would normally employ a tool to delicately but viciously rip the face from the body. Wow. I could then craft a mask to hide my bone. But, as I lack such a tool... The skeleton grabs the corpse by the cheeks and pulls hard, grunting in frustration as the body's skin holds firm. So ask why he needs a mask. Because my own was stolen from me. And the idea of being chased across Rivalon by every idiot with a torch does not appeal. Okay. Oh, get away! Monster! Hide the children! <laughs> You are okay. simple beasts, and you simply do not like my, well, not my kind, but those that look like me. So, if I am to traverse this land, I will need a mask to disguise my features. Okay, tell him that he's washed up on the shores of Fort Joy, this is a prison, and he's not traversing anything. Look at him curiously, what does he mean, not his kind? Or ask how exactly he makes a mask once he has a face. I want to know all of those, but let's talk about oh, Fort Joy. Ridiculous. I have important things to do on Reaper's Coast. I cannot simply sit about waiting for the rest of you to die so I may continue my business in peace. No, I may be an eternal, but my patience has its limits. Indeed, I may be the only eternal. My people seem rather absent. At least from this realm. As for the others... Well... There is an excavation site at the Black Pit's oil fields. Perhaps there I'll find my answers. Um, okay. There's a lot of dialogue in this one. So, let's see. It sounds like he needs a companion. Ask if he'd like to travel with you. See, I would like him, but I don't want to lose the others, because I think, uh... They're all really useful. I like the Red Prince. Sabeels does a lot of damage. And Iphon we're using to speak to the animals at the minute. And I'm obviously the main party. So he can't really come with us. So where does he think his people are in some other realm? Well, that is the curious thing. They are clearly absent from this world. And yet they are. Every one of your races resembles them in some manner. And the statues you have built to your gods look remarkably familiar. Perhaps my people have ascended to some new realm. Or perhaps your gods are merely a folk memory. Regardless, they are not here. But I will find them. Wherever they are, I will find them. Um, okay. Yes, I'm just going to take my leave from that because I don't think we're going to get anything from him. Loudly. I do not want you sneaking up on me again. So he's like a companion, but he's not one who we need. They're saying, how can we get through here? How do we get up there? Will they go up there just by... Will they climb up? Oh, yeah, look. 
Guys, we all need to get up here. Come on. Do I have to do this individually? I think I do because of the climb. And Sabeel. There we go. Let's all get up here. So is that all of us? Yep. And we're all poisoned, but never mind that. So there's some sort of like little village up here that I've not seen yet. Ah. Oh. So looking at this map then, let's come out a little bit. Alright, we're not really making progress over to the right though, are we? So, maybe it's the elf caves that we need to... I think this is just going to be a peninsula. Okay, let's talk to these people here. And then we'll have an explore around the island later on. So, who can we talk to? Ooh, minor healing potion. That would be useful. Um, Alright, let's go and talk to this coral. Coral! You hear a small whimpering sound from behind a basket. You peer behind it and find a small human child holding her knees and trembling. So gently ask the shaking child what's wrong. The child quiets and seems comforted by your presence. She looks up at you with curious eyes. Ask why she there was crying. There are monsters here. Lizard ones and real ones. It's really scary. And I miss my ma and pa. Hey, I wonder if that's the girl who went missing from the person in the kitchen. Ask why she's scared of lizards. Master was a lizard. She sent us here. Me, Ma and Pa. She was not a nice lady. Lizards aren't nice ladies. It's their fault I'll never see Ma and Pa again. We'll tell her everything's going to be alright. How do you know? Because I know everything. The child smiles. She starts tracing small shapes, hearts and stars and diamonds into the dirt. Okay. Alright, so there's not a lot we can do there. Let's just speak to this. This looks like an elf. Go. Get out. You're not welcome here. Go, man pig. Man pig? Gently raise your eyes and say you mean no harm. She eyes you suspiciously. Please. Please just go. So she won't speak to the man, but she might speak to Sabeel, so let's Where try that. Is she? You go with us? Who are you? Are you from the shelter? She says nothing of another. Fear alas. She is so late. Right, demand to know who has who has her so rattled. It wouldn't be a lizard, would it? Yes. A Tusa. She is a lizard, she is a magister. Oh, oh we saw her when we arrived at Fort Joy. She says there are many magisters who do not agree with the bishop. She says they bring us to safety. But Atusa is overdue. She promises to come at noon. We are afraid to stay. Afraid to leave. Okay, assure her the lizards spell trouble, always. Beggars can't be choosers. Atusa extends her hand. I take it. Even if it's but straw I grasp for. Okay, and ask if she knows exactly where Atusa is meant to take them. She says there is a shelter in the marshes outside the fort. She says she brings us there first. She knows a safe path. We wait for a boat, and then we go. Wherever. We make a new home. Um, okay, so you've got some bad news. Atusa has been found out by one of the hires and killed. Yes, yeah, she was killed at the start, wasn't she, when we first got there? I see. We hope for nothing then. Yeah, all is lost. We wait for nothing. I like to be alone now. Oh, okay. So she was planning an escape by the look of it. Which is what we, we had an idea for anyway. So let's have a look what else we can see. Okay, I think something's going to go off down here. Oh, whoa, what is that? Ancient turtle. Now, I think can talk to that ancient turtle. That might be worth something. Let's have a see. Oh, he's going to fight. No, we don't, we don't want to fight. Uh, okay, I think needs to move. So we'll move him here. Okay, Ancient Turtle's turn. This isn't good. He's level 2, but there's a few of them. There's two smaller ones around here, which we might struggle with. Um, oh, okay. Oh, that works for us, because now we can we can get the uh, Oil Imp. 
Let's do that. And we will head near Iphens, I guess. We'll go here. Alright, and this is... Oh, it's the imp's turn. Alright, the imp can go and take out this guy. So we'll get this turtle just to kind of tie him up. Oh, they move extremely slow. Oh! The prince's armor, I don't know if you saw that. The prince's armor reflected some of the damage, which was good. Oh, yeah, that's it. So th I think we can take these quite easily. Let's do the uh, let's do the dragon blaze thing. I hope the oil doesn't all set on fire. Oh, it did. I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. Um, all right, we need to move. Do you know what? Stay where you are. Let's battle stomp the big one, see if we can knock him over. Oh, that'll do. That'll do. And then fortify. Yeah! All right, good. And uh, now the imp. I think we might be able to take this one out. All right, that's one down. So I fans needs to move. Just out of the fire would be good. And you can hit this guy over there. Oh, look, we do a lot of damage to these, so we're actually okay. Just depends how much damage they do back. Oh, not a lot. We're safe. We're quite safe, I think. Um, Alright, so let's use the... Should we use the water bomb to put the fire out? No, nah, it seems a bit overkill right now. Let's poison this thing. And ourselves, by the look of it. Never mind. <laughs> Oh, oh, he's dead. Alright, and we'll just encourage. Okay, I think we're okay at the minute. Is Iphens down? Oh no, Iphens is still up. Okay, so let's just wait for the next one then. Oh, it's Sibyl. Where is Sibyl anyway? I can't even see her. Oh, she's in the shadows, look. Fitting! So she can move there for 0 AP and we can get the uh, backlash straight away. This should kill him, I think. Alright. Oh, wow. Wizard pants. Well, you need those. Let's face facts here. And a turtle's claw, which is a wand. And intestines. Nice. All right, let's all move here. Uh, and let's put the... Oh. So where did they... Oh, Sibyl picked them up, I think. There they are, look. So let's equip those. Oh, that looks good now. That looks good. And these are like spare clothes that we've got. So we'll put them up here. Um, what else did we get? Anything of worth? Hey, did I read this? Oh, I think we did. Okay, so I think that is everything, but that worked out quite well. Oh, there's a bloated corpse down here. What's on here? Soggy diary and some gold. So let's read the soggy diary. Read. Okay, first night here. Don't seem like it'll be too bad. Found somewhere quiet to sleep. Brought enough dry beds, bread to last me. When all this blows over, I'll be happy to say I survived in comfort. Group of dumb brutes took me down for some of my bread. We'll have to get smart if I want to eat. Alright, I don't think this is a... Uh... Yes, it can't be much. Yeah, so we know we're close to a shoreline. There's nothing we can use from that guy. There's nothing else really here. I don't think we needed that fight. Where's the other turtle? I don't think we... We missed one of the turtles off this one. Swallowed too much seawater by the looks of him. Foolish All right. By sea in these waters. So we've kind of unlocked all of the the North Shore. Then, so really, what I need to find out on the map is how to get this way. So it's looking like we need to get into Fort Joy for the next one. So that's what we're going to do next, I think. So on the next uh, on the next episode that we do, we're going to try and get into Fort Joy. Let's just get this fish rack. Yeah, we'll take it. Why not? Alright then guys, so if you're not part of the Latana army already, do you know, make sure you subscribe. If you've enjoyed this video and you've got this far, please make sure you leave a like on it. That would be fantastic and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.